Hello, welcome back to Bounty Free Joe. So, do y'all see this, honey? Do you see this? Do you see this? Baby, this is called growth. So, these are my seeds that I started in my very first YouTube video. That was like a month ago. Yeah, well, over a month ago, almost two months ago. And it is so much growth, like, oh my goodness. This is some seeds that I started, I wanna say, oh, I can look at it, last week, not too long ago. And honey, this is a lot of growth. So, I am bringing this video to you to give you some good, easy tips on how to maintain your seedlings as either indoors or outdoors. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so when it comes to watering your seedlings, I like to wait until I start seeing some brown tops. As you can see, I hope you all can see this, it's looking a little bit brown, so I honestly can water it now. So let me go grab some water, and then I'll show you how I actually like to water them from the bottom. Literally, you just get your gallon of water and just pour it in there. That simple, it's not complicated. And I like to pour, about this much of water. And then what I'll do is give it some time, let it soak up. And after I let it soak up, if I see that I still need to add in some more water, I just do it. It's that simple. All right, so after you pour in your water, you wait. I may check it again in like 30 minutes or so. See, if it looks like I get all of the nice, dark, rich brown tops, you know what I mean? So if I have that, I'm good to go. If there's any excess water, I basically just dump it out. So when it comes to fertilizing your seedlings, you really just wanna wait to fertilize until basically they have germinated. You know, I'm looking at this, when it comes to my cucumbers and my tomatoes, I can probably fertilize them. But I'm looking at the time, I did it on 318, it's 325 as in March 25th. And I'm like, you know, I could probably wait maybe like another week or so before I start bringing in the fertilizer. But once they germinated and you got some good leaves, you can do the fertilizer. Now, when it comes to fertilizing, I use the same gallon of water and I use the same items that I use to fertilize my plants outdoors. That is the Good Dirt plant food, as well as Burma Stara, their um, worm casting tea, amazing. So these are my babies that I started on February 5th. My peppers, my onions that are doing amazing. I have about two different type of lettuce some collard, mustard greens, as well as some dinosaur kale. So these babies are looking like they're ready to go outside. We're going to transition them and I'm gonna have a video over that. However, in, in this video, I wanna let you know that I still water them the same. Well, I may water them a few days sooner than I would my new babies over here because their root systems are basically longer they have expanded and they are thirsty so i definitely check and see these more often if the tops are brown so i can get to the watering very quickly and i still fertilize once a week however i know that i need to start transitioning outdoors pretty quickly so i want to show you how i thin out my veggies some people probably be like, what in the world thinning out the veggies? So, you know, when I'm starting the seeds, I'm starting to about two to three seeds per cell. What I'm doing is letting the best one survive. So these are my poblano peppers. That looks good. So pretty, so, so pretty. So I'm seeing here some that I can take out. And basically, I'm kind of just taking out the smaller, weaker ones that's not um, as strong and long and tall as the newer ones. Once I do that, I just put it to the side. And normally what I do, I just add this to my compost. Do you see this, all of this growth? 
Y'all can get this too, following my watering tips when I fertilize and then thinning out the plants. I will have another video coming out soon on transitioning my babies outdoors, as well as repotting a few of my pepper plants. But yes, please like, subscribe, and share my video. More content will be out soon. As always, please have a good day and be blessed.